Sorry. <laughs> and now I have to kill kill the uh, breeze builders. Killing your child soldiers, Harry. Man, it's bad. So it's bad as a uh, Anakin killing the younglings. I mean, I guess in our defense, they're actually attacking us. <laughs> Hell out of the war tribunal. Mm. Yeah, the uh, the breeze builders overall put up uh, more of a more of a threat. I mean, you know what? When you get down to it, they are putting up more of a threat. The, what they land blubbers? All they did was just put out some fires. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think they're I think the breeze builders are the aggressors here. Yeah. I mean, like, look at this place, it's a war zone. Yeah, this is a lot more, like, crazy. I, now that I think about it, I think I'm, yeah, let me get, let me apply my own head cannon here, but. Yeah. I think the land blubbers just put out all those fires just so they wouldn't have any transport to blow up their own hometown. Yeah? Let me rephrase that. The land blubbers put out the fires that power the Breeze builders transport so they wouldn't, so the breeze builders wouldn't transport here to mess up the land blubbers' hometown there. Yeah, yeah, that works. I mean, yeah, I think they're, I think the birds are the aggressors here. Yeah. And we uh, helped them in the other level, so, you know. <laughs> Again, Spyro probably just doesn't care, he just wants the talismans. Why not? That guy's a literal tub of lard. <laughs> and he's dead. Yeah, I, I like the general look at this stage, but... Yeah, my general problem is just that it goes on for way too long and there's... Uh, a couple... Um, well, there's one challenge in particular that just... I, I'm not I'm not a fan of like it's not it's not difficult in any way, but it just feels like mon monotonous busy work and I haven't, uh, played this game. I haven't played this stage in like five and a half years. I'm, I'm drawing blanks mm. Well, I mean like I, I can draw I can draw a comparison to Mario Odyssey and it's what it's a one of the few parts of Odyssey that um I really don't like well it's not the worst thing ever but like it's just one of those things where they they could just easily remove it and nothing of consequence would be lost and um i'm getting flashbacks to that one stage in spiral one. Oh yeah yeah very similar i actually, do, I actually really do enjoy the last batch of stages in the first spiral game yeah yeah because i it feels it feels like a ge a genuine like build up to Nasty Nork himself. Even though he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice for him to actually get a proper boss fight in Spyro Four if they actually went with the whole Ripto and Nasty Nork teaming up kind of story. And that's why Enter the Dragonfly is one of the ripest games for a remake, because you can literally do anything with it. Yeah. I mean, they could just do that. Hey, it's a new game! It's actually Enter the Dragonfly, but don't tell anyone. Yeah, pretty much. You know what? They should do that. They don't just call it Spyro 4, and it's an Enter the Dragonfly remake in disguise. Yeah. What would they call it without actually calling it Enter the Dragonfly, though? Or just Spyro? Because, like, Spyro, they started having subtitles since Spyro 2. Jesus, Harry. Alright, yeah, this is the minigame I was talking about. The These cowlick things. It's very similar to the, uh, the cows in Mario Odyssey, where you had to put them in, like, the pens and stuff. And... I haven't gotten there yet. It, it happens a few times in Odyssey, and... There's nothing inherent, like, really challenging about this stuff, but... 
Just it, busy work. It just yeah, it just feels like pointless, monotonous, busy, busy work, and it could have been left without. Um, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be so bad if if they were all in just this area, but there's like two or so more uh, than what the kind of is saying now. If you want to get a secondary orb, um, and they're like again, they're like way far back, and it just becomes kind of a pain to get them here, and. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> like, if they just had... I guess if they had just the one orb for the Caldex, it wouldn't be so bad, but... The fact that they made two for this is kind of silly, and... Ugh, man. Again, like, the, the, this level I'm not a big fan of, just because a lot of it just feels like... Just feels like busy work to me, and... It's what it. It's one of the longest stages in the game, and not for good reason. Like, I'm fine with like long stages as as long as what you're doing is fun, and like, you know, rewarding and challenging, and stuff like that. But this is not challenging at all. This is just. Alex, your favorite yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, if, if all this isn't enough already, <laughs> we have a mystery jar as well, because we, apparently we needed that as well. Uh, yeah, man. It just, it's like one of those things where like, the level just doesn't know when enough is enough and it needs to like, calm down a bit. He's incredible, that's a sound effect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're basically giving them a cattle prod. Pretty much. I mean, you have to do that to get them up. Because <laughs> a normal flame attack just bounces them a little bit. I don't know if the if, if the jaws have a timer. I don't believe so. I think I've been wrong before. I don't think they do either, but... Oh, what? Oh. I was gonna say, if they all just reset, that would be stupid. He was hiding that thing between his triple chin, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to go really far. No. Yeah, I'll do with that guy later. But they should be down here somewhere, yeah. There's one. And, um... Uh, man. I think the no another one is near the professor, which is... Around here. Yeah. <laughs> Sake! Uh, How man. How did even get here in the first place? Yeah, uh, man. Unless the burger is carrying them elsewhere. I mean, I guess. But like... Oh. Why would you place them, like, the, this far away? And, like, I think... Hmm. Uh, I don't know, three platformers at this time had up. They just had a propensity to make the player do busy work. Yeah. I, mean, like, this was a, I guess this is a general, I think this is just a general late 90s video game problem. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there are issues, oh jeez, don't fall off. Uh, there's issues for stuff like this in a lot of games during this time. So I'm not like, I'm not necessarily singling out Sparrow 2, but it does need to be brought up. 
Guess what's not getting fixed in the remake. Uh, yeah, like we were talking earlier, they, they, sometimes staying too faithful can be a problem. Oh. <sighs> this is one of this was this is one of the more amusing side missions. Yeah, because well, it guess, but oh yeah, the, no. the the Romeo and Juliet kind of parody, I guess. That that would be hilarious if it was actually affected by the whirlwind. Wind. Dang. Oh yeah, get up there. <laughs> I like how Spyro's flame kills the enemies and stuff, but like for like, re re like uh, civilians or whatever, or cowlicks for instance, <laughs> it just makes Friendly. them bounce. Well, that would be a very hard escort mission if you had to... Like do the headbutt every time? I mean, his horns would probably kill them anyways, the way he's ramming them. Yeah, that's true as well. Oh, come on. Let's just flame him. There we go. It's over. You got all seven you lazy piece of <laughs> Yeah, man. The busy work isn't quite done yet. Let's just get the, um... Let's just get the mystery jar done while we're here. I mean, this is the lesser of two evils, but still. We really didn't need to have this as well. I've already forgotten the layout of this level. Yeah. Everything, yeah, everything does kind of blend together. Now, how long have you been going on, by the way? Three hours. You're joking, aren't you, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's one hour, 33 minutes. Alright. Yeah, I think we should uh, wrap up after this level then. Because we've still got quite a bit as it is here. Yeah, I think I've. I think at this point I've proven my. I, I've. Uh, proven my point about this level going on for a while. Because, you know, we still got the Romeo and Juliet side. side I guess you can just call it a side quest. I don't know. Welcome to Toxic Waste. Dun 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 I was playing Insane Trilogy the other day. I had successfully made it through the level alive. Nice. And I I had just gone back. I was going back to the, to the bonus round so I could get all the crates. Because Crash's camera is Crash's camera. I fell right into a, a pile of toxic waste. Yeah. Man. They actually, toxic, I don't know if it was, this was the case in the original game, but they actually, um, in the um, Ensign Trilogy, I know that you can see like sp these little cracks in the ground, which basically just tell you where the uh, barrels are going to bounce on. Oh yeah, Insane Trilogy does that still. That's, yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I noticed until the remake actually. Well, uh, well, uh, I was saying like I I don't know if that's exclusive to Insane or not. I don't know if it's in the original. But it is appreciated nonetheless. Oh my! How are you alive? <laughs> One of them swallowed a bomb and lived. Uh, that is true. Um, 
Resilient creatures, go give them that. Go, go give them that. I mean, they're made of blubber, so I guess I explained a few things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw a gem. Oh, you missed a gem. Gems. And this is the end of the normal way through the stage. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's pretty cool seeing, like, the different things the talismans are. I'm pretty sure I said this in the first session, but, you know, still. It's cool. Also, a good thing there's no fall damage in this game. Yeah, that that's uh, that's good, too. Right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really... Ugh, fall damage is just something I'm kind of eh on. Yeah. It exists. It, I'm not really... I, I like it. I, I prefer full damage not to be in, in the game, but, like, it doesn't ruin it. And Unless it's, like, always... It, it's, like, a consistent problem, I guess. Alright, where am I going? Over here. Alright, now we've got to do our last... Thing in this level, I think. I, I'm. I don't think there's a uh, skill point in this stage. All right. Spyro, my boy. I've got a magic oh boy. That's how nature works. Totally, it's not, totally not just gonna burn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a. Th there's like uh, one detour you have to take to get this right. Um, let's plant a seed here, and then you can go up here to get this other seed, so you can have a secondary seed to get to the other places. Um, and th this is a cool little idea, but. For this, for Spyro 2 in particular, it's, it doesn't really, they don't really do too much with it, and it's very, it's very, very easy and, sim and uh, simple, and pretty, pretty hard to get uh, confused with. They uh, bring this kind of start, kind of thing back in Spyro 3, and for my money, they do a lot more clever things with it. Uh, eat the seed. But yeah, I like the idea of this. Hey. We still got some enemies to deal with. So, um, Scrappy, what? <laughs> How'd you feel about Zephyr? It's a thing. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm a little fatigued by this point. Yeah, I don't blame you. I do like this. This mechanic is cool, though. Yeah. So would you agree with uh, what I was saying about like the stage going on for a bit too long? Yeah, I'd say so. It's this is probably one of the longest levels in the game. Yeah. And again, it wouldn't be so bad if uh, the stuff you do was fun, but as I've been saying, it just feels like a lot of busy work. <laughs> All right, I think we gotta have get a seed over this side. <laughs> Oh gosh. 
Wait, what, how does this work exactly? What does this do? Because I think that might just make a big platform. Yeah. Alright. I got the last seed. Now I can go to the Juliet character. <gasps> oh my goodness. Is that Moneybag's voice actor? I think so. Yeah, it sounds exactly like him. Love is blind. Yep. And then this happens. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I'm still missing some gems, apparently. I thought there was a thing you had to break open. Uh... Apparently the uh, sparks are pointing this way, so... Wait, what was that out there? I thought I saw something. Hmm. I think it's on the other side. Oh, uh, oh, I thought that creature was a gem. Found her. Oh. <laughs> That's always the worst part of these games. <laughs> Oh, all right. So okay. <laughs> it's over. Thank goodness. Yay. <sighs> Even the grenade looks like a gem. Yeah. It's actually just cat litter. Nah, <laughs> that would be funny. Seizure, man. It was the nineties. We didn't know better. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's see here. I think we've done it around half. Uh, Just two more levels and a, and a speedway. Yeah, so we're making some pretty good progress here, but. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut it here because uh, yeah, this yeah the, the <laughs> this home world goes on for quite a while and I'm kind of exhausted as it is so you're gonna all right, so we're gonna stop here and uh, next time we're gonna finish up um, autumn plains so yeah good night everyone. <laughs>